I'm sorry. Hey guys, I got a quick and easy tip for you on how to edit your skins and insurgency a little bit easier. Uh, especially if you're working with multiple layers. The easiest way to do it is to first toggle off the, your main pattern, then you can actually see your entire image. Find something you want to color, and then you can just color it real quick. Let's go ahead with this. Mm -hmm. This gun I'm working on is my uh, Cyberpunk, sorry, Cyberpunk, AK uh, 47M. So just go around really quick. And this will help for testing too. You'll certainly be able to test a lot faster using this method. And errors are so much easier to fix than with my old one. But as I said before, I'm learning this on the go, so that's why it wasn't in my original video. All right. Just about done with this quick edit, and you'll want to test as you go along. That's why I'm just showing you this little clip instead of showing you the entire build. So once you're done with one part and you want to test it out, just round this off a little bit. Uh, just go ahead and toggle back on your layer, or sorry, your pattern. Then click Edit, or sorry, Select, and then All. Then click Edit and Copy Visible. And what you'll want to do is click File and then Create from Clipboard. But I already have a clipboard thing open, which is right here. So once you have your blank image, it'll probably be white. So I'll fill it in white so you can see it better. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. When you do create from clipboard, it will look like this. And you'll have all your stuff on one layer just like we need. And just go ahead and save it. Do file, export, and you want to export it to your um, CSGO... I'm oh, sorry, Insurgency, Custom, Materials, Models, all the way, the path that you use for testing in-game. Uh, I had weapons spelled wrong, that's why there's two of them in here. Go ahead and replace it, and export it. And then, of course, same thing from before, you want to open up the Insurgency SDK. It's in the uh, Insurgency 2's bin folder. You want to go to Model Viewer, open it up, and then you want to load up your model. This is V for view, AKM, and now you can use the silly little rotate keys. And when you press, um, sorry, I, I pressed F5 because I thought I already had it loaded. As you can see, there, we can actually see what a gun looks like. If you want to do a quick edit and then, you, um, and then preview it, you go back to the same thing. You go to uh, look for one of the most layers because that's probably the one you were working on. Toggle this off again. Let's see if we can find a post site, maybe. Uh, nah. Can't seem to find that. So, I'll color the fire selector for you guys. Alright, so you do your second edit. Oops. I'll make sure you're on the right layer, of course and have the right color. And don't close any of your stuff you had open before that we were using just in the beginning of this video because you're going to be using it again for a quick and easy preview. Alright, let's see how this looks. Just like before, toggle back on your pattern if you have one. Uh, let's blur this a little bit. That's just from my liking. You don't have to blur your thing if you don't want to. I think the blur might make it look a little bit better. Alright. And then you do the same thing as last time. Select all. Edit copy visible. Then you want to go back up to your the one you used last time. Um, and just hit control V. And it should update your thing. And then you want to hit the anchor to anchor it down so it's one layer. And then you go ahead and export it again. It should have the option right here. Boom. Go back to the model viewer and let's rotate this. We can actually see the thing. Controls are a little bit weird. I can never remember what they are. As you can see, it's not filled in. So we just press F5 to refresh the image. And boom, look, it's filled in. So I hope that helps you um, edit your skins a little bit faster. And I'll see you guys in my next video. It might not be insurgency related, but it might be. So just go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. And I guess you'll find out. Alright, peace.